everybody, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have been hopping along in the Simon Says Stamp Love Release blog hop. I'm going to be sharing a few different ideas for using some of the newest products that are in the release. So one of the things I wanted to show you first was this particular stamp, which is the Cosmos background. And this is a six by six cling that is gorgeous and so easy to color. I stamped a bunch of this pattern onto some Canson Bristol smooth paper using some fossil ink. This is a really light brownish gray ink and it's perfect for doing some no line coloring, which is what I'm doing here. Now this particular card, I ended up giving to Heidi at Simon Says Stamps so that way she could use it in the Simon Says Stamp Love Release Facebook Live. So I don't have this particular card to show you the final pictures of, but I will show you how I created it. And then I'm also going to show you some other variations that I did in the same concept. So I took Zig Clean Color Markers and used a bunch of these markers to color in the flowers in this image. I love being able to use lots of different colors and these zig markers are so bright. It creates a really beautiful and colorful background. I was doing very simple coloring here. I just added areas of color in the places that I wanted the coloring to be the darkest and then I blended it out with some water and a paintbrush. I'm using the Zen watercolor brushes. Now I'm not using tons of water because I don't want all of the lines to disappear. Now in some cases, I did use a little bit more water to get a more lighter wash. It all depended on where I wanted to add the color and how much I wanted it to blend out. In other cases, I also took some of that color and put it down over top of wet paper. So I put down a layer of water first and then blended in some of the color and then again took my water and that paintbrush and blended out the rest of the color into a faded tone. I'm layering the colors as I go along because you can do this very easily with Zig Clean Color Markers. Because these nibs are brush and not felt nibs, they can be used with water, on top of water, and in so many different variations. You can even blend colors together using just the markers. And that's because these are brush tip and not felt tip, so you're not going to damage the nibs. The nibs are going to clean off any color that you might contaminate or any water that might get into the bristles. So they're really easy and very forgiving. Now, I also finished up this card after doing all of that coloring. I took the new Here For You die. This is a really gorgeous script die. And I'm cutting that from some white cardstock four times. This is going to give me a really thick sentiment. And I'm using the white cardstock as my base for the gold cardstock that I'm going to put on top. This is Tonic Studios Gold Mirror cardstock. It's my absolute favorite, the Tonic Craft Perfect cardstock. So I used a golden tone here for this one, and then I'm going to layer all of these together using some collage medium. And then I added that right onto the bottom corner of my card, and I also added some splatters with some fine text silver watercolor. Now, like I said, I created a couple variations of this particular design. So I'm going to show you those here. This is another card that I created in that same concept using the Zig Clean color markers. I also added a heat embossed die cut sentiment from the Hello Beautiful Gorgeous die set. And I layered that onto my card. I also added again those beautiful silver splatters. And I also added some sequins with some Nouveau drops in the centers. Those Nouveau drops in the centers of those sequins look absolutely stunning and create beautiful gorgeous teardrop embellishments on top of your card. And like I said, that sentiment is heat embossed. It's a stack of layered die cuts that I cut with the new Hello Beautiful Gorgeous die set. And I stacked them all together and then put a layer of silver embossing powder over top to create a dimensional sentiment. Now another card I created, again in that same concept, is this one here. Again doing that same clean color real brush marker coloring, but this time I put it onto a colored card base that I had created with some more watercolors. And then I also took one of our newest sentiment dies. This is from a previous release, but this is the I Love You die, and it's a gorgeous script font, which I also cut out with some mirror card stock as well. Now these cards are super fun and really bright and colorful, but I also created a more muted tone, and this is with a totally different medium. This is with Copic markers and also colored pencils, and you can see a totally different look you get. Much more realistic, and in this particular case, it's a much more muted color tone, but it creates a really beautiful effect and totally different results. So like I said, I used the Copic markers to color in the base layer of all of these flowers and I added shading, but then I intensified that shading using some colored pencils. 
And I'm gonna show you how I did that here because it's really, really simple. Before I do that though, I wanna to touch on some of the other things that I used in this card. I used one of our sentiments from the Love and Friendship stamp set. And I also added some beautiful scalloped edging detail using our dotted scallop die set. And again, I put those same Nouveau drops into the centers of some marshmallow confetti sequins. And I really love the muted tone of this card. It's a very subtle and yet very elegant design. So let's talk about that coloring. So I took that same paper, again, that I stamped with that fossil ink, and I'm going to take Copic markers. Now in this particular case, I'm using pink, but in the other case, I used purples and blues for that color combination. But the concept and the technique that I used is exactly the same. So I'm doing this in real time so you can see how I did this. I took a base layer and I added some shading of color in the top and bottom portions of each individual petal. Then I brought in my darkest color and started adding in color into the really darkest areas that I wanted the coloring to have the darkest shading in. Then I'm bringing in my mid-tone and I'm starting to fade out that darkest color and I'm also starting to pull it into some of the lighter areas. And I'm being very careful and taking my time because I can always add more if I want additional shading. And I did this for each individual petal. In each flower, I only used three markers. And again, like I said, I went very carefully as I went through and added the shading because I didn't want to add too much all at once. After I added in all of the Copic marker shading, this is where I brought in my colored pencils. Now these particular colored pencils are Derwent pencils, but you can use anything you have on hand. And I basically took one of the pencils and I added in additional shading lines. This is so that way I don't have to get super detailed with the nibs of the Copics, and instead I can bring in that fine tip of the colored pencil to add in that additional shading and extra detail. And this brings your coloring to life. And it, like I said, it gives you a totally different look on this stamp. This is, like I said, the Cosmos background. And we've already seen three different cards using the water coloring technique. Now this is the fourth idea showing you how you can use your colored pencils and your Copic markers to get a totally different feel. And here you can see that detail up close and how you can get some really amazing effects with this. So that is the Cosmos background and a few different ways on how you can use it. Now let's look at a couple other projects that I created using the new release. So this particular card uses the shiny hearts die set and I cut that into a background that I had created with some distress inks. I had done some ink smushing on here and in the areas where we get that beautiful cut line I added some really beautiful silver watercolor to give it a burst effect. The hearts are cut with some beautiful mirror cardstock from Tonic Studios and again I use that love and friendship stamp set from Simon's Stamp to create the sentiments. Now also in the background on the card base, very subtle, I added some stripes of that silver watercolor paper. That adds just a little bit of interest to the card base and helps bring the whole card together. I also added some really nice edging details to that background panel using one of our Simon's Stamp scallop stitching dies. The Shiny Hearts die set is super fun and really gives some really nice focal interest to your card design. Now another card I created uses the Cupid's Heart border die. When I saw this, I thought this would look so cute in so many different colors and then layered together to create a dimensional and very colorful effect. So these hearts are really fun and add some nice dimension to your card because I did add them in a certain way to give them a little bit of lift off of the card. Now I have a video showing you how I created this card if linked down at the video description, also on my blog and at the end of this video. So there's a couple of different ways on how you can get to it, but I encourage you to watch the video to see how this card comes together. And I really love the bright and happy colors that were in this card. And I kept the design very really simple so that way the focal point, the beautiful hearts, really take center stage. So I hope that you will check out the other video that I have created using the new Simon Says Stamp Love Release. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And head on over to my blog to get more information on these cards, including still pictures and products used. And also participate in the blog hop. I will see you again very soon with another video, and until then, thanks for watching!